Where are you? Oh um, so, you know how there's that emo fest that I really want to go to in October, right? Yes. Um, that's going to be a, shit, it's a nightmare. It's not going to be a nightmare it's a fire fest. It's, it's not possible. Ja Rule is not has hosting it. I so. call that false advertising. <laughs> Quote Ja Rule, ja Rule ja of Fire Rule. Festival. I got bamboozled too. <laughs> In the odd chance that I miss that, I don't plan on missing that, there is an emo is not dead cruise from Long Beach to Mexico for four days, and I like kind of want to be on that too. That sounds even worse. Right? No, not not in the sense of like that it's a scam. No, but it's Because that one's probably not a scam. Yeah. But more so the fact that you're stuck on a fucking boat for all that time. Listening to Hawthorne Heights, bro. And under oath, are any of them going to be there? Yeah, they're all they're all performing. They're performing on a boat. Yeah. Okay. It's an emo festival on a boat. It's a, oh my god. Yeah. That. Oh, it I'm like, on a boat, motherfucker. <laughs> it sounds terrible. It sounds amazing. Uh, have you ever been on a cruise? Yes, several. So, are they good? Yeah, they're fun. It sounds terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds terrible. They're fun. If you go with the right people, they're fun. I went with family. It was it was, it was fun. Yeah, but you can't choose all the people that are going. No, you can't, but you can choose to avoid them. <laughs> well, look, don't spend too much money on either of your scams. No, your scam. I, like, I really want to spend the money on that actual festival in October uh, in Vegas. The cruise one I could do without. I'm honestly surprised that they're even doing like another like large music festival in Vegas. They had, they've had several since. Have they? Yeah. When I was out there for work in September, um, they did... Uh, Oh, I forgot. It was not like a... It's like a big pop artist festival. I forgot what it was called. Oh, they they also did a... What's the one on the Speedway? The uh, big, like, electronic Ario festival. One. Speed. Oh, EDC. Yeah. Is that Electric Daisy Carnival? Carnival? Yeah. Concert? Concert Carnival. I think it's Carnival. I think it's Carnival as well. Yeah. Carnival. 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 I would love to go to Carnival. That would that'd be fun. Um, I just don't want to get robbed or pickpocketed. Do, you, do we know anybody that speaks Portuguese? I do. Uh, David's brother speaks Portuguese. Does he want to go to Brazil? Probably not. I mean, he probably does. I take that back. He probably would love to go to Brazil. Life's anchor. Right? A child. <laughs> and I tell him all the time, you've known me longer than this kid. Why does this kid take priority? Yeah. That's that's not fair. Yeah. Like, if we're going to speak priorities, yeah. you came first. I, I did. You know? I was just like, dude, I've known you for X amount of years. This baby just showed up, and all of a sudden... like All, all of a sudden, yeah. they're more important? Jesus. The audacity right? of your friend. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What do you... What, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, fuck John Cena. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. So why John Cena again? Why John Cena? Because he's a coward. What did he? What is he cowardice of? Because he goes on on was it Facebook? Uh huh. Or I don't we, have or Facebook. Weibo. I don't really watch Facebook. And sends out a message to the people of China and Cantonese, uh-huh. apologizing for referencing that Taiwan is a state after or an independent country after China heard that and then threatened to ban Fast and the Furious in China. And all these movie companies want to uh, pander to the global market. And China is a massive consumer of movies and TV shows. And the biggest star had to make his apology. So that way they wouldn't ban it. All right. I'm with you on that. (laughs) I'm with you on that. Uh, Fuck John Cena. Taiwan number one. Yeah, I get it. But also, goddamn Peacemaker is good. (laughs) Yeah, I I, I haven't finished it. I I really... What is it? Three episodes? Four episodes? Or is it ongoing? It's ongoing. Okay. So I have to pick up on episode three or four, I think. I think it's on... Five now. Oh, okay. Or um, six. I've been uh, watching uh, the Book of Boba Fett. I is it any good? I I think the episodes are hit and miss. Um, there's a lot of storytelling which kind of drags. Ugh, the worst part about movies is the storytelling. Yeah, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. You just know? get straight to the bounty. Yeah, hunt. I just want him to kill people for money again. Like, yes, throw somebody in carbonite. I don't care about your story. <laughs> you fr- you frozen on frozen in carbonite. Yeah. You got your telescopic sights, flamethrowers on your wrist. Yes. Rocket on your back. You think he gives a shit? Oh, my God. <laughs> your mom is a bitch. Oh, my God. Did you ever hear from that See guy? See you in the Sidelight Pit? <laughs> no, I haven't. And I've I've kind of started to harass a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Not, not like a bad way, but in the sense of like I'm 
consistently reaching out more frequently you're, on <laughs> several different platforms at this you're point. You're going to get a band and block on everything. It's whatever. <laughs> you know what? At least I tried. That's a win then for you. At least I tried. Yeah. Um, you yeah. also had say, said you hated someone else earlier. Oh, yeah. The Rock. Yeah. Why? Because The Rock, I can appreciate uh-huh. as a person. I'm sure as a person, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Which, well, I've met him once. He was a nice guy. Uh-huh. See? Um, so how can you hate somebody? I don't like hate that? him. It's about I drive. Just <laughs> it's about power. Yes, and it's about working out at the in an early hour. I get it. Put in the work, put in the hours. Um The Rock more so so the Rock the Rock and like Ryan Reynolds are kind of like sitting in a in a similar situation for me. Oh, you hate Ryan Reynolds too. I don't too. hate Ryan Reynolds. But they are in Absolutely everything, uh-huh. and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Right. Kudos to their career and their, right. you know, their their work and their drive. <clears throat> um, but my fear is that there's going to be like excessive palate fatigue, mm-hmm. and then they're just going to just fall to the wayside. Yeah. More so, I care about that with Ryan Reynolds because I like, I his, personally like his content yeah. more. Um, other than like the massive swaths of what should be straight to DVD movies, The Rock has done. Or sci-fi specials. You know who else is following suit in that tr- duo is actually Gal Gadot. Like she's like just popping up in all these movies now, like uh, Murder she? on the Nile, um, Red Letter or Red Notice. Um, it's another thing that she's coming out in. Uh, you know, not off the coattails or off the back, but like hitting that woman Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four, which was I in my opinion I didn't, trash. Yeah, that was not a, that was not a good movie. <clears throat> but like you know, she's like been in a lot of things too, and I'm like, oh, I'm I'm with you. Like, are you guys like gonna play yourselves out? Like, I don't want to see you in everything. Now, I'm no cinephile, so I can't like speak on how many actors or actresses have like done that. Yeah, but it seems like I don't know. I feel like that. It's kind of same with like Chris Pratt. Like, I feel like Chris like Chris Pratt has to some degree has kind of fallen to the side of I guess like social commentary. Mm-hmm. Um. Because I feel like people just got like fatigue of him, yeah, of him being everywhere, yeah, and like Jennifer Lawrence too, J Law, uh, yeah. So, like, they're not they're not irrelevant, but I feel like you hear less and less of them outside yeah. of because they, they you're right they did have that big burst of like they were on the scene for for like a couple of years. years straight, and then it was just like, all right, we're kind of tired of you. Yeah, it feels like people just got sick of talking about them. Yeah, uh, like Bradley Cooper too. Yeah. Oh man. Bradley Cooper. Uh, who else is like that recently? I feel like that's it. I feel like those are the like big ones where you're just like, oh, wow. That was on. I was like, I'm hearing Thanks, something else. Aaron. God. A. A. Ron. A. A. Ron. Um, but yeah, anyway, that and then the other part, the other part, and this could be something to dive into a little bit, was uh, I'm also annoyed. Like, I had a conversation with a client as most as most of these conversations end up <laughs> happening because um, we were talking about like um, we we're talking about like steroids in sports. One of oh who oh it's coming. Oh, back I to know you. who. Oh yes, I know who I talked to. Um, I don't remember what it was. It's it something to, in relation to this. Okay. Shit, but I see her tomorrow. Okay. Anyway, well, oh. dang it, we'll save it for later. Yeah, or maybe we'll accidentally touch it. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. Um, but we were talking about like ster- like just steroids and. I was uh I was just like frustrated on how uh like how like The Rock and John Cena like and most of like the act most actors that are in Marvel movies. Yeah. So um Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, who else? Eh, Jimmy Renner probably not. Robert um, Downey Jr. Maybe. Um Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, no. Damn, for, she's uh, on steroids for <laughs> sure. Elizabeth Olsen? Yeah. For uh, sure. Um, See how much witch power she has? I know. <laughs> it's a witch steroids. You know what I always bitch about what? <laughs> when it comes to these goddamn movies <laughs> is why do we have to like... So I understand that there's like the concept of like visual... Co- like creating visual context for like magic to be happening. Yeah. But why is all magic always done in this like... Oh, the hand thing? The like hand motion. Yeah. And that's like... Is that a necessary concept to be had? I don't know, man. I got. I thought you just read... Ch- from a spell book like you didn't like yeah or you you, tw- know? you twinkle your nose yeah like yeah bewitched or, or yeah like or harry potter you got a wand like or you got a wand. actually there's actually magic in the wand and it's like okay like you're practicing but it's not like you know voodoo I th- fingers I, th- I thought it was i thought the wand just helped harness their 
wizardry power. It's inside of them, and it just focuses it. Is it inside them? Can be. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I feel like then killing them, there should be a better way to harness their souls. You know? Because, like, when you defeat a wizard and you take their wand, you hold the, control the power of their wand. But you don't. if you kill them, you don't really absolve... Or absorb their power. You should be able to absorb their power, like like Shang Tsung. Like Shang Tsung. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't think it's a. I don't think you absorb the power of other wizards. You should. It's it's a skill. I that's think it's a practice. waste. Yeah. If it's inside them, you should be able to. Well, it's not like not you know, li- well. Take maybe. It. It's their blood. Yeah. Um. Anyway. So. Do you like that Voldemort thing? I but all. You? Which one? Did you like the one that I sent you? I love the one. <laughs> the you sent the me. Malfoy that one. It was hilarious. <laughs> Oops! How did it get there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, but I it, it bothers me that I, like they like these people these fucking actors um just like won't come out about the fact that they're you like that their physiques that they're getting oh those oh, yeah we're, we're going all the way back Sorry. to the real thing <laughs> that the physiques that they're getting are like largely unattainable yeah um like mo- like and this. <sighs> Applies to the women too, but it's just in general tends to be kind of a guy thing. You think but, you think those guys were juicing? Who? Uh, RDJ, Chris Evans, Chris Pratt. I don't know about Robert Downey Jr. because it's not like he was a big yoked dude. Well, they were showing pictures of uh, like when they had interviews. Like he was like kind of he was kind of built. He had muscle, but he was also lean. That's true. But like if you look at the transformations of like, I mean, Christian Bale can be in the same thing. Um, that dude had weird transformations. Yes, he has go. He goes to literal extremes. Yeah. The uh, but w- w- so but all of these guys like, just like I, it's implied, but at the same time, like there's a lot of people who and this applies to all these like the Instagram mm-hmm. Instagram people and all these like fucking fitness people who are like yeah 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 just buy my six week workout routine and we can get my you booty can get, blaster you can get abs or you can get a giant ass yeah like it doesn't no it one it doesn't fucking work that way yeah because you don't see them doing it yeah because because here's the deal that's shit they're not doing <clears throat> yeah so like you think you think these like huge like these dudes or these ladies that are just like cut to shit are just doing some like body weight band exercises all day uh they're not <laughs> they're fucking lifting weights <laughs> And for some of these like giant fucking guys, like it, like anybody that goes to goddamn zoo culture, Bradley Bradley Martin's gym, all those people that post from that shit are are juiced to the gills. Like, Jesus. just admit it. That's the thing. Like, I don't I don't think you're a bad person because you take like you take steroids. Yeah, I don't think they're inherently bad, like morally bad. But just be honest about it. Yeah, don't and, say you're all natural. Yeah, well. Most people, most of the time, they just avoid the question altogether. Right. There's another YouTube guy named... Uh, like, hey, you on steroids? Oh, look at that bird. The, yeah. yeah. The, uh, so there's this other guy on YouTube, uh, Kenny K.O., who will like go to these like big fitness things and will just like walk up and be like, hey, are you natural? Oh, my God. And like just, just cold. And most people know who he is at this point, so they'll be like, shit, and they'll just like turn around or they'll just try and like dodge the question. Yeah. What if they get mad? Which they have. Oh. <laughs> um. But he's also not a small guy. He's like six four, I think, and he's like, he's a big guy. He yeah. like does bodybuilding competitions. He's like, he boxes. is he juicing? Yeah, and he admits it. Oh, nice. Like now he owns it. Yeah, he's yeah. not gonna tell you. <clears throat> he's like, he's made it known that he's like, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm taking. He's like, but yes, I take like I use drugs, um, what most bodybuilders do. But besides the point. Yeah. So it just like really frustrates me when um when I see people kind of talk about it, and I'm just like, which is just. All of these things are unattainable, and especially when they're starting to like try and sell you shit, or, like workout plans or diet plans or s- supplement regimens that are like random fucking herbs. Like you're not going to ever get that physique, mm-hmm. and if you are, or you want to come close, it's going to be like a decade's worth of work. Like it's not one summer, as much as you want to believe in. Yeah, you can't just inject it in your butt and boom, you got muscles. And the worst part is of all of them. Chris Hemsworth was a part of a uh, like an, a workout app during the oh yeah kind of like over the I think pandemic. He's still, I think he's still a part of it. I don't know how much he's associated with it, uh, but like his he's his likeness is is used for it. Yeah, and he's actually no, he's also in the promos. Yeah, I see these like fucking all promos. the commercials are him, and I always report it as inappropriate when it shows up in Instagram. <laughs> I find it offensive. Oh man, I think that one I mark I 
there's like a false or there's like false advertising or so, like some sort of like thing for that. And that, yeah. I keep marking it as that whenever it pops up like Halo or something like that. Is it Halo? I don't know. You're but, just hating on Halo now. I wish we had that that hall. We could do that. In here. <laughs> it's a big echoey room. Yeah. But but I think it's bullshit. Like I, I truly think that's bullshit. <clears throat> you know, you're going to get a lot of people coming after you. Talking about America's ass. What? Chris Evans. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look, don't get me wrong. He's got a great physique. Yeah. Like, he looks good with his shirt off. Cool. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I wonder, I wonder how many people are going to jump on and defend him. I don't know. Maybe. Probably none. Probably none. Probably none. We really don't get a whole lot of feedback. We should. <laughs> We're What's just... wrong with you guys? Give us feedback. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, whatever. Yeah. But point is. Like, tell us who you like so we can bash them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make you, we gotta, you gotta get, you gotta spark some hate. That's yeah. how you, 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 you <laughs> we gotta grow through infamy. Oh my god. Um, but infamous. Yeah, but it, I just, I don't. It just, it re, it's very frustrating to me to see a lot of that stuff. Um, and then especially when like they go on like press junkets and tours and they're like, what do you do? How do you, you know, how do you get so lean? And they're like, I eat a whole lot of chicken breast and uh, rice and vegetables. And it's like the fuck you do, <laughs> like come on. Isn't uh, I mean, isn't we fucking Chris Pratt married to Arnold Schwarzenegger's daughter? I don't know. I feel like of the group, I feel like he'd be the most closest to meal prepping and training properly. Look, I mean, look at at this level without juice, it, it doesn't matter. He's not <laughs> he's not going to make that transformation because he. I mean. In the latter seasons of like uh, Parks and Rec. of Parks and Rec, like they gave him like fucking sweatshirts to wear yeah. and like baggier clothes to hide the fact that he's losing a bunch of weight. Yeah. Um, but like from the from the inception or from the ending of Parks and Rec into going into like Guardians of the Galaxy, like he made a wild body transformation. Mm-hmm. Not saying that you can't do that naturally, and a lot of it was, I'm sure. A lot of it, it all boils down to diet and exercise at the end of the day. Yeah. But, but the growth he also had some span. help yeah. <laughs> and then and like and again so my client was asking if she's like is that a good thing or a bad thing and i was like i don't think it i don't think it matters yeah neither yeah i'm like yeah it's not good or bad um and she's like would you consider it cheating and i was like cheating for what yeah depends i'm like it's not he's not uh, competing yeah i'm like he's not comp- i'm like so the, the and this is kind of what we were talking was like yeah. there is no competition to be had like if it like it it's just an aspect of the role. I'm like, I'm like, sports is different because it's defined that you're not allowed to take these things. Yeah. Therefore, if you do take it, you're breaking a rule, therefore cheating. Um. So I like I wouldn't put actors or actresses in that same boat. But just be honest. Like, I, image. I understand there's an image thing, and like, you know, Disney being Disney and wants to be like, Disney corrupt as fuck. PG and all that shit. Yeah. Well, yes, of course it yeah. is. It's one of the biggest companies yeah. in the world. Corruptions in the world. There's there was big backlash against the Mulan, uh, the Mulan movie because where they filmed oh, in China. Yeah, when they filmed in China, there was like also in the same region that there's like uh, prison camps and shit. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know <laughs> where that like one. people like disappeared from. I did not know that. Yeah, like we're gonna get disappeared. Yeah, we're we're gonna get deleted. Oh wait, we're not we're not on air in China, right? Oh, I'm sure we're not allowed to be played in China. Are you we're, kidding me? We're fine then. Taiwan, hopefully. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Let's go. I love our Taiwan. Taiwan people. number one. Uh, Keanu Reeves, our boy, was getting backlash because he was a part of some summit that was like talking about like the that was in like support of like Taiwan being like a free nation. Yeah. I haven't looked. I haven't followed up with this one, but I just saw a bunch of people being like, eh, you know, Keanu Reeves," and I'm just like, "Please, Keanu Reeves, stick to your guns." Yeah. I'm like, please. Do me, do me the one thing I need you to do the most. <laughs> Imagine having an opinion and people hating you for having an opinion. Well, that's based on their own opinion. Yeah, yeah, weird. It's a weird <laughs> world, right? It's it's a challenging one. Like I don't know a whole lot about like geopolitical issues. Um, I don't care, especially like yeah. larger ones. But like, you know, there's it, it's more nuanced. I'm assuming than just you know one country thinks that it should be a part of the other yeah so i'm sure there's more to it than that just like the whole like palestine israel thing there's a 
there's a that's that's a people write dissertations on that stuff. Yeah. Um, to kind of try and describe like the conflict and who who's right who's is right, and, who's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure there's more to it than just that, but like, man, like just it just goes to show how much money can move you, um, and move people in the world. Oh yeah, for sure. When uh, Fast and the Furious might the the mo- one of the most ridiculous movies I've had the pleasure of never watching. <sighs> I could just assume based. You've off never of seen the, a single one of them. I've seen uh, up to Tokyo Drift, and I stopped from there. So you saw one and two. Yes. All right. No, I mean, in reality, it's all you need. W- please tell me more about <laughs> like the the ever evolving deep plots and philosophical concepts outside of family that gets uh, talked about in Fast and the Furious. You say it's so condescending. Like, I do. It's family, 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 <laughs> family. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Fuck that movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but like we said, when we went to go see Mortal Kombat, yeah. I audibly went, what is happening? That's true. After yes. the tr- when the trailer for Fast and Furious was going on. Yes, very true. Because I haven't seen it any... I haven't watched any of the films mm-hmm. past... Tokyo Drift. Yeah. So they're, it's, they're wildly ridiculous. It has somehow evolved from like street racing and like petty Grand Theft Auto mm-hmm. and like scrapping cars yeah. to like international like Crime. war crimes. Yes, exactly. And like space lasers and shit. Yeah. Uh, and like future tech. You know why, right? I have no idea why. <laughs> Family. Family. <laughs> All I know is Michelle Rodriguez is still in it, so I appreciate that. I don't know how she came back to life. I mean, I know the story wait. was told, but I'm just like... Wait, did she die at one point? Yeah, she died in the... Like third. <laughs> I can't remember. All right. Yeah, she died. And then came back. But sure. Yeah. She's a robot. She's yeah. a, she's a clone. It was terrible. It was a terrible story. Terrible story. Yeah, no one's no. It's like a Michael Bay film. No one's watching it for the story. They're watching it to just see pretty things explode. Right. Right. <laughs> and, and then Han. And then Han died and then came back. Han, the Asian dude from Tokyo Drift. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I kind of inadvertently did watch Fast 9 now that I talk about it because I watched uh, uh, CinemaSins mm-hmm. did a video on everything wrong with... <laughs> By the way, one of the best movies or one of the best YouTube channels. They should literally just play the whole film and be like, everything is wrong with this movie and then just leave it at that. So so CinemaSins has been around for a very long time on the YouTubes, but it's literally just like commentary over a movie and it's like condensed but it's just to be like, here are like all of these ridiculous inaccuracies that happen. And, the, and they'll point out like continuity errors yeah. or just like plot holes. Um, or the, one of the, my favorite things that always happens. And I do this with like TV shows and stuff, which I might, you've probably heard me say before is like, whenever they somehow say the title of the movie within the movie, <laughs> yeah, they force it. He always go they're like, they'll always just be like, and roll credits. <laughs> And so every time they that happens, I'm like, and roll credits. Yeah. Uh, but it's super funny um, if you enjoy just like that type of like shit posting. Um, so sign me up. Yeah. That 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 page is hilarious. Um, I wish uh, Elgin Intensity would do that <laughs> on, on on movies, not just lifts, but not just CrossFit. Yeah, not just CrossFit. I love his voice. His voice is just so like monotone and just direct. <laughs> What, uh, I love when he bashes. What, cross it? Yeah. That's easy. It's, it's the downfall. It's, it's way too easy. It's hilarious. Um, speaking of CrossFit, the Open's coming up. The Open is here. Well, to some people, they think it's here. That would be me. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know how I read. You, you somehow went January 24th. 20th, yeah, and, it's and I was like, February 24th. I'm like, it started on a, a Monday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, why would it not start on a Monday? It starts on a Thursday. The season opened on a Monday. The yeah. first workout is on a Thursday. A month from now. <laughs> <laughs> a month from yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Today's Friday, mood. I Ooh. lied to the entire 6 a.m. I lied. <laughs> They're I said, like, yeah. oh, my. I said, yeah, the fucking open is next week, guys. We're starting next week. And I was just like, now I feel like an idiot. Yeah. And everyone is like, oh, my God, I'm not ready. Yeah. Like, oh, no, shit. Yeah. And like people, people were telling me like, oh, like I'm competing in two weeks. What am I going to do? I was <laughs> like, like well, wait, I'm competing during the open. Yeah, I was like, you know, that's just, you know, it is what it is. Take your time. <laughs> now I have to go back tomorrow and be like, you know what, guys? <laughs> I got it wrong. Hey, uh, guess what? My bad. Way to be. Um, yeah. Did you see they uh, they released the. The equipment list? I did not see the equipment list. Um, 
Let me pull it up. <clears throat> pull it up I, right I, quick. I did forget because I mean, we talked about this, but I did forget it was three weeks last week and it's three weeks this week or three weeks last year and three weeks this year. I'm used to the, the four. Mm. You mean five? Fuck, it was five. I knew I was right. <laughs> like, I was just like, this doesn't make sense because I remember it being like point fives. But then, like, sometimes there will be like point four plus point five. Um, but yeah, sometimes there'd be an A and a B. Yeah, regardless. Um, Wait, are you over here gaslighting yourself? I am. <laughs> I am. Yeah, pretty much. I'm hyping myself up for with wrong answers. <laughs> so, so yeah, so they released the equipment list. So it's one dumbbell. Oh, okay. So I was right. I told uh, I told Richard this morning that he needs to practice dumbbell snatches. And he goes, no. Nah. He's like, that, that won't be in the open. I was like, I guarantee you the dumbbell snatch is going to be in the open or something overhead with the dumbbells going to be in the open. He goes, no, nah, bro. And I go, I will bet you a coffee right now <laughs> that it shows up. There you go. Here's, so, your, here's your free coffee. Here's my free coffee. Um, so you need uh, one barbell, mm -hmm. a standard bumper plates and collars, okay. um, wall space, one set of rings, though the rings are only for the adaptive division. Interesting. Um, so ring rows. Maybe. Or dips. I or would assume ring rows. Ring push-ups. I'm going to assume rows. <laughs> one jump rope, one box, um, a pull-up bar that allows for hanging and kipping movements. Okay. So bar muscle-ups. Pull-ups. Toes to bar. I'm just thinking about the hardest ones. Um, a box. So step-ups, box jumps, box jump overs, jump rope, jump rope. Um, we don't need rings. Wall space. So probably wall handstand walks or walks. handstand handstand Hand, pushups. Yeah, handstand pushups. Um, and then a barbell, so it could be anything with the barbell, and then a dumbbell. It's gonna be burpee over the bar. Watch, you're not even gonna. Like, it's gonna be something. Yeah, you're not gonna do any barbell movement. It it's doesn't just say burpee. floor space. It's just oh, perfect. <laughs> There's no fucking burpees. Thank yeah, God. So there can't be there can't be burpees. It doesn't say you need the ground. Yeah, stupid. Um, but yeah, so there's no like. <laughs> No biking, no rowing, no wall balls. I don't have to worry about any of that. Well, oh, because it didn't say medicine ball, right? Nope. Oh, nice. Yeah. That sucks because I'm good at wall balls now. <laughs> God damn it. Well, yippee kayak, mother trucker. Fuck. But yeah, so, and it's going to be January 24th, three weeks of competition. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Started Monday, guys. Started Monday. It's, apparently, it started last Monday. Um, but yeah, there's been some interesting news coming out in the the whole CrossFit stuff, yeah. CrossFit space. Um, for one, for one, there's a bunch of these that uh, I don't know if you saw. Like a bunch of athletes are kind of speaking out at the fact that they don't get paid from uh, Noble for any of their jersey sales. No, I didn't know that. Um, I I need to look into that a little bit more because I haven't seen if uh, if Reebok paid them, um, but they're they're kind of making note of that. I, didn't Reebok pay them for like shirts uh, with their names on them? I don't know. Huh. I don't. I don't. I can't confirm that. Hmm. Um, but I know Noble made a comment <clears throat> saying that they're like, yeah, we we just can't afford to pay you, <laughs> pretty Oof. much. And it's also within the cut within like the oh the contract the, the like when you sign up for the games. Yeah. <laughs> but you will make no money from the sales of your shirts or jerseys. Yeah, that's so within the. Um, the 2022 Noble CrossFit Open, there's a, a line in it that says, like, I hereby irrevocably grant to the CrossFit parties and the perpetual and unrestricted right and permission to use my appearance, photograph, signature, likeness, actions, pictures, names, nickname. Jesus Christ. Sobriquet. New word. Uh, team, affiliate name for illustration, promotion, marketing, sales, merchandising, or any other commercial purpose whatsoever, including, without limitation, promotion of third-party sponsors and advertising materials for the CrossFit parties. And their goods, products, and services without royalty, payment, or any other compensation Holy whatsoever to me. Fuck. <laughs> you have to give them everything. You you essentially are giving them everything. Yeah. yeah it's imagine a... everyone walks out. That would never happen. No, it would never happen. But could you imagine? It would completely shut down CrossFit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. No bull, baby. No bull. But no bullshit. So that that was a big thing. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of talk on that, which has also kind of re-sparked a lot of the the talk on um, creating like an athlete union yeah. or making the athlete union stronger, I should say, because that does technically exist, I believe. The athlete union, yeah, sure, because we're both CrossFit Games athletes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously. 
Um, and we, could, it, we could if we wanted to. Honestly. I mean, yeah, we just we're choosing not to. Yeah, we're letting other people have their time in the sun. Yeah. If anything, they should thank us for not taking a spot. Exactly. Yeah. Because you're, you're welcome. Yeah, we both, you know, after Fraser Fraser left, we were like, you know what? We, I mean, maybe we should make our, you know, make our comeback. Yeah. But then we were like, you know, off. You didn't. We didn't say this on on mic, but you know, off mic, we were just like, nah. You know what? It might not be fair. Yeah. Just, I I wanted Maderos to win. Honestly, like if if we would have competed, he'd be fighting for third. Yeah, and that's just not fair. No. He's worked really hard, and yeah. like you know, he's made a good. Come I also up. respect the mullet. So shouldn't, but that's fine too. Yeah, you know, to each their own. To each their own. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. And then the other, the other. Oh wait, no, he's American. Never mind. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was French. Who? Justin Medeiros. Oh yeah, he's American. Yeah, American as fuck. Mur- mur- with a mullet, with a mullet like that, it have a, to be. He's got a pet eagle named Eagly. <laughs> <laughs> Does he drive a pickup truck? Nope. He drives a uh, Ford Focus. Dukes of Hazard. Uh, challenger. Was it? Is it a Challenger? Is it a Challenger with, or with Charger? The, oh, I think it's a Challenger. I think, I think it's you're challenger. right. With the uh, the, with the um, what's the flag called? Oh my god, Confederate? No, it's uh, not the. Con- it's technically not the Confederate flag. It's um, what's the name for it? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Good job, right? All these uh, <laughs> thanks, liberals, <laughs> for making me forget the name of the flag. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh my god what is that flag called look it up later. the duke's flag the duke's of hazard flag yeah. that's what it's known for um and then but speaking of french um cedric lapont apparently they uh up in up in british columbia or not british columbia uh, canada is uh-huh. what i meant to say yeah i don't remember where in canada uh um, fakowski town fakowski town it was in quebec mm. they uh so i guess like they've they've canada has pretty hard like lockdowns um, and I guess their gym has been closed for almost over a year and a half. Oof. And so I guess, uh, cause he's been training cause he's a high level athlete. Um, he's been training like solo at the gym that or something, sucks. something like that. And, the I guess like the, someone caught wind and then told the police and then the police told like the local government and he was like threatened with, uh, essentially jail time. If he, anybody in that gym goes to work out. <laughs> That's, hmm. He can't work out in his own facility? No, because it's shut down. Gyms aren't allowed to be open. Technically, it's not open to the public. It's not open to anybody. Wow. Yeah, so it was... Uh, let's see. As I, South Park said, bl- fuck Canada. No, blame Canada. Oh. As Eric the whole, Cartman said, fuck Canada. Well, the whole song was blame <laughs> Canada. So it was saying, like, after being closed for nearly 400 days since the start of the pandemic, CrossFit Games hopeful Cedric Lapont or I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, ah, his home? his gym his gym in French Town, Quebec. I, I cannot even attempt to pronounce. This. Let me see. Getting you. Let me see. Get getting no. Getting you. Um. Getting you. Getting you. Getting you. Getting you. Getting you. The Getting you city police. It kind of just turns Japanese for both uh, of us. Pretty much, yeah. You know, Japan, France, they're close enough. Uh, getting you. <laughs> getting you. <laughs> Um, I watched too much anime. <laughs> uh, decided to keep operating in a safe manner, believing that their services are essential for physical and mental health. I lied. They've been open. Oh, the yikes. Get in the city police department caught wind of this, paid him a visit and contacted the public health department who took the gym to court last week. Uh, CrossFit 819 was found to be in violation of the province's gym closure mandate, according to LaPont. And if anyone is caught working out in the gym, even alone, and even the owner, they could face jail time. Jeez. Change it to a church. <laughs> I don't know if that works in Canada. Oh. Well, they don't have God in Canada? <laughs> it's a godless country. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. Praise the moose. <laughs> there was... Oh. <laughs> Can Dudley Do-Right be their, their like, prophet? Oh. I was hoping Bullwinkle. Well, Bull, Bullwinkle, Bullwinkle is like, uh, yeah, yeah, I could go with Bullwinkle. Yeah. And then what's Rocky? Rocky's right? a... The squirrel? Squirrel. What would Rocky be? <clears throat> a deity? A saint? A saint of some sort? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I can get behind this. And then the the Mountie would be like the, the missionaries. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be, they'd be spreading the good word of mm-hmm. our Lord and Savior, Rocky. Bullwinkle. <laughs> or, or Bullwinkle. Sorry. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Lord Saber Bullwinkle. Uh, yes. Yeah. Bullwinkle okay. would be God. Rocky would be Jesus. Okay. All right. And then Boris and Natasha would be... Uh, Good memory. I forgot an- about these. The anti-Bullwinkle. <laughs> <laughs> the Satan. The Church of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> uh <sighs> Yeah, man, I grew up with those cartoons. Okay, yeah. I for, I forgot about the, the the were they Russians? Yeah, they were supposed to be. God, just don't you just love prop cartoon propaganda? <laughs> 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 I think it was. I think those are the major ones. I forgot the Mounties name, but didn't Brendan Fraser play him? He did. Isn't it Dudley Do Right? No, no, that's a dev, that's another thing. Yeah. Brendan Fraser played Dudley Do Right. Yes, which is a Mountie. I don't think that's the Mountie in. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Let me see. But I could be wrong. Ruke? Uh Captain Peter Wrongway Peach Fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rocket Rocket Rocky J Squirrel. Mm-hmm. Bullwinkle J Moose. Mm-hmm. The dim witted but good natured moose. Oh. They didn't have a Mountie. They had uh oh, Yeah, it also takes place in Minnesota. Yeah. What well shit. My whole life is uh ruined. I did not know any of this. Huh. Cool. Well, the more you know. I was in Canada the whole time. Well, it's a moose. You kind of, it's a safe assumption. Yeah. Associate moose. America's hat. <laughs> All right. Well, the more well you yeah. Know. Dudley Do-Right is the uh, Mountie in the cartoon. And but... then just Brendan Fraser just had a solo film. I guess. No. <laughs> R.I.P. Brandon Fraser. Was Dudley Do-Right just his own thing? It like, was. Or was he, he wasn't associated with Rocky Bullwinkle. Are we having one of those, uh, those moments where we're Mandela effects, yeah. <laughs> or are we just uh, stupid? We... There's a there's a philosophical concept to uh, hypothesize: is the Mandela effect a real thing, or are we all just dumb? It's a real thing. I'm <laughs> definitely not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I choose to believe I'm not as stupid. <laughs> no, Dudley Do Right was a standalone thing. Oh, there yeah. Right. Oh my gosh, we're learning so much. <clears throat> yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> remember the good times. Well, yeah, I mean, Canadian Mountie. Not, yeah. not, not a Minnesota Mountie? Nope, not a Minnesota Mountie. Minnesota. Minnesota. Where's CK when you need her? <laughs> Don Chano. Oh, Don Chano. She's going to get that. She'll get it. She's going to text me when she gets that, too. It, I hate you. Mark my words. Mark it. 40 minutes and 12 seconds. Mm-hmm. I'll get a text. I hate you. Do you have the time <laughs> to listen <laughs> to me whine? Are we... So we got our uh, our prop well, bleh, prep class tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Well, what are we doing? How did it go last week? What did we What did you guys end up doing? Um, so we went over the workout, uh, basically the movements and whatnot. Um, did you just do the first one? We only did one. Yeah. So this tomorrow we'll do number two. Um, That's poop. It's poop. Sarah led like a body movement warm up, mm-hmm. um, which is actually really helpful. Uh, I think tomorrow. You and I can probably. I, I'll leave you with the warm up. Okay. You have better warm up ideas. Just move slower. Yeah, move slower. <laughs> move slower. That's your warm up. And then um, we kind of broke down ways to approach the workout, and kind of did a like I I wanted to do a dry run through with just either PVC or barbell or you know something light, something easy, just so you, they could move and practice synchro. Mm-hmm. They kind of just like gun hoed it after that oh okay um so maybe we try that out tomorrow maybe as like part of their warm-up is like a, a dry run and then a full 100 percent run through um and then after the workout <clears throat> kind of broke down each team's strengths and weaknesses um what they could have communicated better uh what they could have performed better or slower um and then just uh ideas or observations from coach's perspective or outside perspective like here's what i would do maybe use it maybe not if it fits yours it doesn't you know whatever just at the end and then cool down and discuss okay how did you um did you guys have did you guys have the uh uh ju- they like people judge each other no no they uh so it was oh uh, essentially it was just maggie and me at that point walking around and watching the five teams work out gotcha um but i did tell them because there was there was rest there was built in rest in between the workout and I was telling them, um, oh, who was it? That's fine. Uh, they were doing, uh, burpee over the bar. Right. Mm-hmm. But f- 
a couple of them weren't burping chest down. So they were like kind of seal pose. And I told him, I was like, hey, look, an amateur judge won't catch that. But a good judge will no rep you each time. So there's a way to play it off where you don't really have to go all the way down. Oh, don't They're not don't see teach it. them how to short change it. <laughs> but what you should do is X. If you're getting tired and you want to cheat it, Mm-mm. here's why. How this is going on <laughs> live to the masses. Hey, if anybody wants to know how to cheat the open, I got that too. Fuck that. No. Wall you do ball it, targets. You do it correctly every time. <laughs> Even if that means... If you ain't it, cheating, you ain't trying. You ain't trying hard enough to win. Yeah. Ugh. No. That makes me mad. Don't do that. Don't be that person. Just ask everybody who used steroids in the workouts. <laughs> well, I don't think we have to worry about that here. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not I'm not competing. <laughs> Ryan, you look super swole for the last two weeks of not doing anything. <laughs> just walk in like 4% body <laughs> fat. Like, jacked. What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm here to work. I'm here to work on. Wait, like, did your beard substantially grow? <laughs> okay. Turn into sea. Ca- I got sea captain beard. That'd be amazing. Just hair everywhere. <laughs> it's just screaming infidelities. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So but yeah. Um. So tomorrow, basically, that's uh our rough in. That's um. Fine. And we, there's no, we don't have any RX people competing, right? No, it's just beginner and intermediate, or scaled and intermediate. Yeah, cool. Okay, so tomorrow's is it's a long one. I think it's the chipper or the ladder. It's the it's the 14 minute AMRAP. Yeah, so it's the handstand push up, shoulder overhead row, handstand push up, shoulder overhead row, mm-hmm. single arm dumbbell walking lunges, shoulder overhead row mm-hmm. with increasing weights. Oof, that's gross. Weights heavy. For the shoulder over it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it goes up to 160, 165. For, sca- for intermediate? Mm-hmm. Really? For men. 115 for the for the ladies. Um, so, it's not too bad. Well, so last week we didn't have any men's team show up. Oh, really? And I'm almost positive we won't have one tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I also don't know if Sarah and Sam are going to do it tomorrow because I think Sarah just posted that she's going to go camping. <laughs> sure. Whatever. So. I mean, whoever shows up gets... Yeah. It gets <laughs> our... For sure. F- unparalleled yeah. expertise yeah jen and audrey will be there i think isabel and I, for the life of me i can't remember isabel haley part. haley thank you oh. i wanted to say haley but like i didn't think that was right uh wait who wait what did you just say isabel and haley no isabel i don't know who isabel's competing with haley is competing with delaney fuck is delaney the one we just talked about earlier oh, okay <laughs> they weren't there they showed up later with maggie yeah that day um I think only Haley will be here, be here tomorrow. Okay. Well, then, she, yeah. Which maybe. Is fine. I mean, she might be able to do it with Sam then if Sam shows up and Sarah's not there. Sure. <clears throat> um, actually, that might have been it. Yeah, cool. Might have been it. Well, whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. That'll work. Yeah. I think this this will be a good one. It's a good workout. I mean, in general, I enjoy it. Yeah. It looked fun. It'll be interesting to see. I'm not going to do it. You don't want to do it? I'll demo. I guess I can. I can demo. I mean, I'll demo it, but I'm like, I'm not gonna go full ham on that. Do you go? You go, go whole hard. ass or no or ass? No ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who was I talking to the other day? Someone said I half ass it. Not not me, but they were. They said, "Oh yeah, I just half ass it." And I go, "Bruh, you use your whole ass. You don't half ass anything. Both cheeks, baby. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I all I ass." I said it, and I th- that just immediately came to mind. Yeah. All right. Um, no, I like I like that uh, that ordeal. Or that whole, or, not ordeal, that whole deal. Pandemic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> For the last workout. <laughs> um, did you guys talk, do you guys like talk about like warm up strategies or? We did. We talked about warm up strategy. I was breaking it down. Uh, I was telling them that you're going to have jitters and especially if it's your first one. I was like, and that's normal. Um, you definitely will have the jitters and we're going to be there to, you know, talk to you and talk to you, not talk you down, but like kind of, kind of calm your mind. A little bit. And I also tell them, look, Maggie was saying that, you know, you guys like for the barbell workout, you guys should touch a barbell at least, you know, 15 minutes prior just so you can get the movement ready. Um, You know, go through that pathing and and communicate with your partner and even, you know, grab the jump rope, do some single unders just together just to get everything synchro and in in sync with each other. And I told them also, I was like, look, that may not be enough too. you want to get your heart rate up a little bit. So find a bike or find a rower. Give yourself, you know, like a solid, 
45 to a minute of like something calm and then maybe like a 30 sprint and then again like another 45 to a minute calm just to get your heart rate up get your lungs open and then you know Ugh. this takes me back to all those uh open warm-up <laughs> oh, stuff God. that I used to post yeah <laughs> yeah those were fun those were fun those were a lot of i mean they helped me shit you know the one the people we used to i would people would ask me for it because they would see like i know at our old gym like you melissa like some of the other like patrick and mm-hmm. stuff were like doing them and uh and some other people were like asking and the, i some people which i'm sure you can assume who were, were like they would like fight me on it and i was like do whatever you want to do <laughs> i'm like you don't have to do this in any capacity yeah um, i was like but it's just highly recommended yeah, if you don't want to do it don't do it it's not for you and one of one of them that kept uh that kept or one of the things that people kept pushing back on was like getting your heart rate up yeah and i was like no i'm like it's really important to like I mean, you don't have to be at like a hundred percent. You don't have to redline in your warm up. Yeah, I'm like, but you want to get like the heart pumping a little, a little bit, just from like a like there's a there's a concept called prime the pump. Yeah, and that's like part of it. Like you want to get like metabolically your body moving in that direction, kind of get everything f- without diving way into it, just like fluid or fluids pumping. Yeah, everything moving, lubricated <laughs> joints. That is moist. You want those joints to be moist. <laughs> Uh, so, but whatever, but yes, that's, that's a good, a very good point. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like, yeah, game day, we, we, we touched on it a little bit, game day prep. And then I think what we could also talk about tomorrow is, um, week of prep. Mm. Cause I don't think we touched that as okay. far as like, you know, uh, kind of work out roughly as normal. off. Yeah. Towards the end of the week. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be, I I'm think, excited. Like I haven't like coached a competition God, over a year or two years now a little bit, uh, fucking forever now it's been a while yeah so i'm excited to get back and do it i yeah. know I'm, i know i'm gonna be exhausted <laughs> i no i uh, don't do you, be, do you get fun. exhausted after coaching competitions no not at no? all if anything i'm more jazzed oh man my <laughs> get like so jazzed mentally and physically drained afterwards i although also, be, i i do a lot of yelling i also take a i my approach with a lot of that stuff is a little bit more hands off. Yeah. Um, so I, it, I kind of let my philosophy is all my philosophy when it's ever, it's come to that stuff is like, we've put in the work, um, you know what to do, you know, where to do it. Um, how to like where your mindset's supposed to be, you know, all the, all of the things. And so like, I'll be there as support where it's like, if you need help or something like that, like I will always, you know, be there to answer questions or to kind of, you know, talk you off the ledge and shit like that. Um, but, or like talk post, like, you know, talk post strategy or, you know, whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. Um, but usually I like, I know with like Melissa, for example, um, one of the ones that she did, I like, we did a lot of stuff like building up to that competition and like chatting and like talking back and forth, like emailing and coming up with like strategies and thoughts on like how to go about workouts and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so like she had access to all of those things like prior to the day of. And so then when we were there, I was just more of like a little bit of like ended up being just more emotional support. Yeah. Um, or like occasionally just yelling out into the distance, be like, Hey, the thing you're doing right now is not working. Like, here's what give this one a try. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then like making like, you know, audibles essentially. But other than that, like, I don't, I personally don't think I need to be that hands-on because if, if the preparation was good enough, then every like nothing I say or do is gonna uh, make yeah, you. Yeah, nothing will change on game. Nothing, nothing's gonna make you fitter or stronger or faster. So, so would you agree then that it's about drive, it's about power, putting in the work and putting in the hours. They stay hungry, they devour. Is there more? I don't know the rest. I just know those first ones. Yeah, what is that by the way? That's the Rock's rap song. The Rock wrote a rap song. Yes, you've never heard it. No. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't follow him that closely. I'm going to play it for you. Great. I can't wait yes. to be annoyed <laughs> you're gonna by this him. goddamn you're gonna song. You're going to hate him even more. <laughs> it's so, oh my God. You should see the music video. I'm going to send There's you the music, music video? video for it. Oh no. Yes. I'm going to send you the music video. How for horrendous. It. It's, it's, <laughs> it's probably, I could probably, it's probably just one of those stupid like gym motivational things where it's probably just like a bunch of like aggressive close ups of like shit moving around. He's probably wearing his hoodie with like the fucking steer head on it. There's probably some sweat at some point in time. 
him looking off in the distance. It's probably got a gray scale and like shade to it. Yeah. Am I am I nailing no, it right now? No, there's color. There's no gray. Oh, there's some color. There's oh, color. wow. Okay. Yeah. Is it to highlight highlight the sponsors like Nike or uh, you know his, uh, his Under brand Armour? Under Armour? Under Armour mm-hmm. Not Nike. No, oh, sorry. No offense. Yeah. Um, so it's probably like colors to like highlight the fact that there's that stuff. I'm sure he's probably sponsored by some sort of supplement company or, uh, something like that. That's probably not testosterone. Um, so I'm sure that's probably somewhere hidden in the, hidden in the backgrounds is, you know, subtle, uh, promotions. His, uh, tequila's in there. He has a tequila too. You didn't know he has a tequila? Again, I don't follow the rock. (laughs) Man. I I actively choose. I've actually never seen the music video. I just know those first six words from the song oh okay yeah you just let me ramble like i just let asshole. you ramble yeah yeah well I've i hope i'm correct never seen it so i kind of want to watch it now <laughs> all right we'll watch it when we're done <laughs> so oh. if i'm correct yeah i'm gonna shit my pants i, I mean you better get ready to wipe yourself then <laughs> nope i'm gonna <laughs> oh, you're just gonna lay in it no i'm gonna smear it on the ground you said like you're a, gonna like shit in your pants yeah I'm going to take my pants off and then flip oh. them inside out. Okay. And I'm going to do the like butt scoot thing that dogs do. Oh. oh, oh On my oh, floor? All over our studio. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, to prove my point. How dare you? <laughs> because at some point in time, the rock's going to violently wake up in the middle of the night and be like, something's wrong. So, I don't. Somebody's I, upset with me and shit their an pants. Off feeling. And then he's going to put out a, a, a statement for the haters. And he's gonna say, "Go shit yourself," <laughs> and you're like, "Beat you to it." <laughs> I did it before; it was cool. <laughs> also, I don't hate The Rock. You hate I just, him. I just think that we, as a people, yeah, have uh, uh, put him on a pedestal too aggressive of a pedestal, mm-hmm. and it's annoying to me. That's all it is. It's because you don't have the drive <laughs> or the power. the power. I definitely don't have. <laughs> don't have all those. I also. Don't make like a hundred million dollars for also, just for, waking up, just <laughs> making shitty films. Yeah, to exist. His movies largely are terrible. They're all the same. They're. Do you see that poster? They're, they're like, almost all apocalypse-based movies. Yeah, and they're terrible. Yeah, but come Rampage, on. Rampage, terrible movie. Earthquake. Was it Earthquake? Sure, close uh, enough. Uh, it's, it's called San Andreas Fault. San Andreas or fault. San Andreas, not the fault. Um, yeah, he had San Andreas. Terrible. Jumanji was good. Jumanji, yeah, but he was a supporting character. In he that. was, yeah. Kevin Hart carried that movie. Kevin Hart was in it. Jack Black is in it. I think. <clears throat> um, I don't know. And then, uh, oh, oh, what's her name? Um, uh, Nebula. Um, oh, uh, 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 Doctor Who girl. Uh, uh, is it Amy? No. Uh, it's like a really cool name. Um, uh, fuck. Damn it. I think her last name Gil- Gillen. Gillen, Gillen. Uh, something Gillen. Yeah. Uh, no. Karen Gillen. Is it? Yes, yes. I think you're right. That's her yeah. name. She's awesome. Yeah, Karen Gillen. I love her. Yeah. Uh, she was phenomenal in Doctor Who. Wonderful season um, with the guy that I can't remember his name now. Um, Doctor Strange? No, Doctor Who. Oh. And uh, she was also in a, mo- a horror movie called Mirror, which was also pretty good. Mirror. Definitely recommend. Uh, it was a good little kind of uh, psychological thriller Ooh. movie. Well, because I was just thinking about it. I was like, hold on, Karen Gillan and Natalie Dormer. But like Natalie Dormer from like Game of Thrones. She was blonde in there. Was she? Yeah. No, she had red hair. Nope. Are you sure? Positive. 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 How positive? Oh, wait, in Game of Thrones. Sorry. You're right. In Game of Thrones, yes, uh, the House of Flowers or Rose or whatever. Yeah, she had red hair in that. Yeah. <clears throat> but she, I think she's a blonde. But yeah, yes, you are blonde. right. Um, or mm, Natalie Dormer with her like half of her head shaved. Oh, in Hunger uh, Games. The Hunger Games. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Sign me up. <laughs> Sorry, Marissa. Love her. Yeah, she'll listen to this next year. Love her. Yeah, she's not gonna get to this. <laughs> yeah, she still has a whole year to get. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while for her yeah. to get to this. So never mind. You and I are gonna be retired from this by the time <laughs> she actually gets to this episode. Rip. Yeah. About thirty years. Uh oh. Uh, uh, Bryce Lee. Hart, Bryce. Bryce Lee. What? The other redhead. From what? Dallas. Bryce Lee da- Dallas. Uh, fucking Jurassic Park with Chris Pratt. Oh, I don't know her name. Bryce Dallas Harper. I don't trust people with three names. They kill They <laughs> they, they, they kill presidents. Oh, my God. Lee Harvey Oswald. Yes, I know who you're talking about. Uh, who's the other one? Who's the other like that one. one that assassinated people? Okay. I don't know who she is. No? No. Uh, and then Jessica Chastain? Uh, I don't know that I could pick her out of a lineup that one oh 
What about her? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Uh, Isla Fisher. Oh, love her. Uh, who's the quirky one with the lisp that was like real f- popular for a minute? She was in um, Spider Man, the more recent. No. Spider-Man? Emma Stone? Yeah, Emma I Stone. I love Emma Stone. The Amy Adams? Kate Mara? I don't know who that is. You don't know who Kate Mara? Did Morris? you just search famous redheads? I did. <laughs> um, is it weird that I just guessed your Google search? Sophie Turner. Uh, also Game of Thrones. Yes. Uh, that's also right. Uh, Rose Leslie. I don't know who that is. Also Game of Thrones. Still don't know who that is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Show me a photo. You have it working, on your phone right I am now. working on it. Oh, she played uh, the wildling. Yes. Egret. Egret. That's mm-hmm. right. Jon Snow. Jon Snow knows nothing. Yeah, you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> uh, Lucille Ball. <laughs> okay. What? No, I know who that is, but... You weren't in love with her? What's wrong with the you? The show from the 50s, and I was a like a child. She was still beautiful. Okay. I can could, I could say she was beautiful, but it's like it doesn't really do anything oh, for me. Oh, Laura Preppen. Don't know who that is. 70s show. Still don't know who that is. Oh, um, what was her name? Um, Eric's girlfriend. Yeah. Donna. Donna. I want to say Laura. That's her name. What? Laura is her name. Oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, Mandela effect. It's fine. <laughs> Deborah Ann Wall. Don't know who that is. Do you know who these people are? Uh, yeah, she is in The Punisher. Um, the mo- the movie or the, the show. TV show? Uh, I'm only picking ones that I actually know. Well, maybe all the ones you're not saying are the ones that I know. Ooh, Katie rude. LeClerc? Oh, yeah. Yeah? From no. what? I have no, no clue. <laughs> fucking liar. Mad Men. <laughs> actually. Is she a Mad Men? Uh, Did I get that right on accident? <laughs> you're looking at the IMDb? Yeah. Nope. I don't know. Cool. All right. There's a ton. I'm sure. Yeah. And I'm sure they're all wonderful people, and I don't know you. You have no idea. Who <laughs> I have are. no idea. Who I don't you even are. know who they are, and that's fine. <clears throat> uh, Besides, we all ginger know... spice. Ginger spice. <laughs> uh, that word is offensive. Okay. Spice. Yes. <laughs> we can't use that anymore. <laughs> oh damn it! Because it's flour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric's jo- Eric's laughing real hard because I made a comment about somebody earlier. Oh. That if they were a spice, they would be flour. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's the lamest, best insult. Oh my god! Because you are flavorless. You are flavorless, and nothing <laughs> boring oh as hell. My god, that was that was awesome. That was a really good insult. <laughs> um, did you see the gamer one that I sent you? Your boy I just, I just looks don't like he drops regular loot. Oh yeah, <laughs> was it the golf ones? Was Wait, it? No, have you no. seen that one? The golf one. Oh, there's this one where they were like, everyone was teeing off and they were given some like super wild insults. Oh, the uh, how uh, making them step off the tee? Yeah. Yeah, I love those. Those are hilarious. I, I, I can't those. remember any of them, but I re- <clears throat> I just know that I was laughing. I was like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> you look like you beat your husband. <laughs> 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 what well, is it was like, looks like you sell like NFTs down at like Venice Beach or yes, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Those are those are hilarious. Those are really good. I wish I was funny. You're kind of funny. Well, thank you. I appreciate there's that. There's like there's like I get nuggets. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. It's like when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's pretty bad. When it's bad, kind of ignore it so we don't feel bad. <laughs> I get a lot of pity laughs. Like right now. Like right now. <laughs> one of my cli- Oh my god, one of my clients <clears throat> pity laughed the shit out of me and I really? was like, and I was like, "Look, I know I'm not that funny." You do not have to pity laugh me and just call me out on being cringy. Was I, it like super pity? Like, ha, 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 ha. was definitely like a half-assed. Oh, I hate No, those. no, it wasn't a full-ass laugh. I hate that. It was very noticeable. And I was like, look, you don't have to just, I don't need a chortle. Yeah. You know, just because. Usually when I do that, me. I'll be like, nope, never mind. That wasn't funny. Like, I will call myself out <laughs> and just like, nope, don't, don't, just, nope, that wasn't funny. I know it wasn't. I'm going to go back into my hole. And. It does go to say that if you can't make Eric laugh, it's got to be a pretty bad joke because yes. you are the most generous laugher I know. Yes, I will give <laughs> almost everything a laugh. <laughs> if I don't laugh, please go back to the drawing boards or never <laughs> attempt it again. And there's a lot of, there's like a lot of times where I'm like, there's no way you think it's that funny. Oh, I'll be dying laughing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. I will be di- Like We were watching like a uh, uh, fucking Captain whatever the fuck his face is. Uh, John Cena. Oh, Peacemaker? Yeah, Peacemaker. There was like a line and I just started dying laughing. I look over at you and you were like, meh. Well, it's like, yeah, it's funny, but it's not like I was fucking laugh dying. out loud My funny. tears were coming <laughs> out. That's how hard I laughed at that. 
Well, I also have a really you, yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you were you and both David were laughing like at really weird po- weird we spots. We have for, the same um, sense of humor for when we were watching uh, uh, Matrix. Yeah, and I was like, "What are you laughing? We at? have this, this is very much a serious scene." Nope. <laughs> What's that song? Uh, one week, bare naked ladies. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. <laughs> Can't understand what it means. You soon will. Mm-hmm. Are you I have a are tendency you... of uh, wipe your mouth on your sleeve? Yes. Do you have a history of losing your shirt? Yeah, it's a ban. <laughs> One week. Do I? I don't think I do. Do you watch X-Files with lights on? I actually don't watch the X-Files. Do you ever... I guess I can't say the next <laughs> line. <laughs> I hope the smoking man's in this one. Oh, Pull random lines out of that song. No, it's that too song's fast. hard. Yeah, that song's hard to grab an individual line. Also, I'm afraid to say it aloud because I don't know if I know the words. Which one? To that, to uh, one week. Oh, because there's like a whole bunch of stuff where I'm like, I know the sounds, <laughs> but I, but I don't like. So like one of the lines that I, I like that after one of them is like the kerosene photo getting frantic. That's what I think it is, but that doesn't make any. I don't sense. know what the follow up is. I just say alimantic, and I, yeah. I know that's not the words. <laughs> and it's yeah. So then it's like something like I don't know something pedantic. Yeah. It's like you're staring like, at Aquaman or some yeah, shit like that. A history of butterflies or something. Yeah. I don't like. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure on what. The only being one said. I'm solid on is like it would still be two days, two weeks till to, to you say you're sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's and it. Chicken to China, the Chinese, and chicken. that's it. Yeah, drum chicken is in your brain, your brain stops, stops ticking. ticking. Watching X Files with no lights, lights on. on and something uh, hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce. <laughs> I hope it's smoking man's in this one. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. And a kerosene photo getting frantic. Yeah, I don't know. It's what's pedantic. The, what's the other one? Um, shallow and pedantic. Um, <laughs> uh, Emma Stone did the uh, lip sync battle for it. Oh, the the heart brings you back. Um, by is it Blues Trap? The heart. David knows the words. Uh, hold on. Yeah, the heart brings you back by the Blues Travelers. There's like a like. It starts off like suck it in, suck it in, Okay. Oh, I I, I don't know the song. Oh, okay. You're terrible, you uncultured swine. What? I'll have you know that the blues travelers were the ones that introduced me <laughs> yes. to the talk box on the guitar. The, how do you not know that song that I just referenced? Do they use a talk box in that song? I don't. What, no, probably not. Okay, then. <laughs> you don't even know what a talk box is. Nope. <laughs> Wildly used in the '80s to some of your pop, most famous songs. Hey, no, Olsen won Waterpalooza, and he battled COVID. Is it? I don't think he won Noel Olson or won. <laughs> no, Noel Olson didn't win Noel Olson on winning Guadalupeza twenty twenty two. Oh really? I thought uh, Pat <clears throat> Velner won. I thought uh, uh, Pat Velner came away with the biggest prize pool. That's for sure. First place, twenty five thousand dollars for Noel Olson. No, that's it. Anyway, that dude, the guy who runs that, is gonna the next director of the games. Called it here first. Yeah, the leaderboard has Patrick Velner winning it. Dog, I just showed you. I don't know what to say. Maybe Patrick Vellner tested positive for steroids. Oh my God, I would lose my mind. No, oh no, they want No Olsen played, was on a team with um, oh, Chandler really? Smith and uh, somebody else. Oh, so he didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> it was the boys with Travis Mayer, <laughs> No Olsen, and Chandler Smith. And then uh, the back. Aussies with James Newberry and Con Porter. Uh, team Hercules was uh roy gamboa travis williams and logan collins and then mayhem came in in fifth hey that was lucas parker and rich frowning frowning is more like it <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I> know, right? <laughs> and then alex smith sam dancer and street horror came in six <clears throat> and who came in last oh my God, adm wolfpack Danza. who are you moist af who are you <laughs> That sounds amazing. Joe Piero, Maxwell Reynolds, and Bobby Wallum. Congrats to you for having the best name. Just the best name. Um, but yeah, for the for the men for Wadapalooza, speaking of, it was Patrick Fellner, um, Alexandre Caron, Samuel Cornier, 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 Cole Sager, Cole, Cole Sager, finally breaking that top five. What did he get? Uh, fourth. fourth. <laughs> 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 so, hey, man. Oh, my boy's climbing. He's getting there. He's Slowly climbing. but surely. <clears throat> um, and then what about the women? Who? Emma McQuaid. Who? Emma McQuaid. She's Irish. Uh, Bethany Shadburn. 
You, Danny Spiegel in fifth, Ellie Turner six, Emma Hall in seventh. Who else do we got? What's her face? Uh, Sarah Sigmund's daughter backed out, I guess, from like an injury or something like that. Was it injury or COVID? I think it was an injury. Oh, she's always hurt, man. I uh, yeah, it's wildly frustrating as a fan. <laughs> she's always hurt. That was it? I don't know any of these other people, or too many of these other people. So, Ragnar, Sarah Sigmund's daughter. Good job on them. Um, all right. Well, anything else you wanted to uh, chat on? Uh, her parents' name is Hafrun John's daughter. What? And her best friend's name is Cat. Oh no, Catherine is best friends with Annie. Yeah. You, wait. So you said her dad's name is? I said her parent. Doesn't say her parent. Yeah, parent. Is what is it? Hafrun John's daughter. So that would be her mom. Uh, and her. Yep, mother. Grandfather's name is John. <laughs> <clears throat> is that how that works? Yep. Annie missed, I don't know if that's a P or a B. Porus daughter. Annie Thor's daughter? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a T. It's a TH. I thought she took her. Um, Because if it's Thor's daughter, yeah, right. No. then her dad's name is Thor. It's Thor Mag- Magnuson. That's a dope name. And that Thor. means her grandfather's name is Magnus. Magnus. Yes. They're from Reykjavik. That is a pretty cool concept. Like, of just like naming. Um, Taking the first name as your last name? Yeah. And then daughter, and son. daughter, yeah, daughter, daughter, son, uh, Thor Odin's son. I was reading. God, that's so dope. I was, it's, yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Oh my god, we just all of ours was like just making up names oh, or I would based be off Erickson. of Erickson. Like, well, yeah. my kid would be Erickson. Yeah, yeah. No, grandkid, your kid. My kid would be Erickson or Eric's daughter or Eric's daughter. I'm just gonna. I'm like whoever has a kid with me. Good luck to you. But we're gonna. Uh, Incorporate Icelandic culture <laughs> into our names. Our <laughs> <clears throat> That's it. Just no reason whatsoever. Yeah, zero reason. Um, Why do you want to name Erickson? Why not? See, it, what I have a, a friend who his name is Eric, but his full name is um, Erickson. Mm-hmm. So would that be Erickson's son or Erickson daughter? <laughs> Ooh. That'd be confusing. That'd be dope. Erickson's. Erickson's Maybe. daughter. Erickson's daughters. Erickson's daughter. <laughs> We're just going on now. Sure, why not? Um, if we had a kid, what would it be, Ryan or Eric? Well, we just have to have two. Oh, so we could just split it. Oh, well, that works. I think it's fair. Yeah. Sorry, Marissa. The fr- I mean, first you got to convince me to have a child. So it's fair. <laughs> I could do it. You had uphill battle, my friend. I could do it because I don't want kids. That's all right. We could adopt and then see. See, if we adopted two. I see. Well, nailed it. Well, he, yes. If I were to have a child, yeah. Um, I would much. And this is not me saying this, staying on a high horse. I've said this for a very long time. Um, you could fact check me on that one. Uh, I would much rather adopt than like bring my own kid into the world. Yeah. Um, so it's not like altruism or like some random altruistic concept. But that being said, I'm not wealthy enough to afford adopting a child. You got a dog and that's enough. And which is expensive as shit. Yeah. And, uh, and also, I'm not like at a place. In, I'm not at a place in my life that I would like. I feel like it's responsible to bring a kid into the world. Yeah, or adopt a kid that's already in the world. Annie Ryan's daughter. What? Oh, the name of your daughter <laughs> will be Annie. Why is my kid's name Annie? I'm just throwing that out there because of- if they're going to name him after any of the daughters, it's going to be Sarah. Okay, Sarah Ryan's daughter. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sign me up. Okay, works. Yeah, but well, don't sign me up. I'm not. I don't want it yet. <laughs> but I get the metaphorically speaking. Yes, Cole Ryan's son. It'd be Brent. Brent? Yeah. Brent Ryanson. Because that's my boy. If we're going over CrossFit people, I'm a Brent fan and I'm a Sarah fan. Brent Brent Ryanson and Sarah Ryan's daughter. You're looking way too off in the distance. <laughs> I'm just like, you like really <laughs> aggressively visualizing this. And I, I don't am. I don't know that I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> like I was starting to see like glimmer in your eye, and I'm like, uh oh. There's hope. <laughs> I don't like this. I like where this is going. Wish it, will it, want it. Well, I don't do either of those three, so. I got it for you. It's fine. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got it for no, you. Please don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't do that. Mm-hmm. I don't want that. I got you. Can't. I got you. I, uh, I, uh, uh, no means no. <laughs> <laughs> it's California, you can't instill your will on me like that without my consent. <laughs> Debatable. 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 Um, all right. Anything else you want to chat about? I think that's it. All right. CrossFit stuff. Butt Fuck John stuff. Cena. A little bit of butt stuff. A little bit of butt. Uh, By butt stuff, we mean <laughs> shitting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did I say I was going to shit my pants? 
uh, if you were right on oh the, the video. video. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> we're gonna find we'll out. We'll have some fun story for the next <laughs> next episode. Whether you shit yourself or not. Um, all right, Eric. Where can people find us? You guys can find us on our Instagram at Instagram hey, hey, on our hey, Instagram on our Instagram at another period rep period podcast, and you can email us at another rep podcast at gmail dot com. And you can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. Unless, yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I was going to follow suit and pull from uh, from uh, Spotify, like, was it Neil Young? Neil Young, yeah. Unless, you know, you know Neil Young decides to Did challenge Neil us. Young or Joe Rogan, okay? Joe Rogan. Of, yeah, there. <laughs> who makes us more money? It's who? Well, I don't know. They paid a lot of money for him as well. Yeah, but he has a shit ton of followers and listeners. And, it's true. Yeah. It is the <clears throat> number one listened place for in anything in yeah. the world right now yeah does it well here's the question huh does it beat out like uh what's the t-series like the the indian music channel or like like coco melon and some of those like youtube ones that have like hundreds of millions of followers probably not yet I, like do do you think like that beats out joe rogan no but i think joe rogan is probably more globally Sure. appreciated it's very niche yeah well like the youtube ones are a little more niche right right so like like you said like the, the would you say indian music yeah t-series yeah the t-series like i feel like that has its select following like yes it's probably like in the hundreds of millions 205 million <clears throat> 205 subscribers million subscribers jesus but it's like that's that's your following right God joe damn. rogan has probably that not in the hundreds, but probably in a million or millions in each country globally. Yeah, I'd be because you. <clears throat> it'd be a good. It'd be a good number to to compare because you can't see that. No, right? Spot, you can't see can't total see Spotify it. listens, right? Yeah. Anymore because you used to be able to watch that on YouTube. And you'd yeah. be like, how many? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have like a million likes or a million views. Yeah, I'd be curious about the views because I mean, fuck, I just looked up, I just looked up T series and it's like one point two, one point three, nine. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 wouldn't know. That's like secret Spotify stuff, hidden algorithm. And then, so yeah, you can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts, um, and you can uh, shoot us a message on the hotline at five three zero podcast. Make it bling, make it bling, BB. Otherwise, we won't have it anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, true. Well, yeah, you need to know that. <laughs> um, Watch us on Twitch. Oh yeah, and check us out on Twitch. Uh, streaming at uh, twitch.tv slash another rep. Yeah, you watch uh, Eric yell loudly, scream into a microphone. I gotta figure that shit and out. Blow up your eardrums. That shit's so annoying to me. And, and then you can have uh, gentle mu- gentle soft talking from me. Yeah, um, it's at, almost like a- ASMR at appropriate levels. Yeah. and lighting. I also gotta <laughs> figure out. Oh no, you gotta figure out because I don't know how the fuck to do this. You're the tech guy. Put the Discord in my stream. Oh yeah, I have no idea. Okay, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> yeah, we'll figure. It out. All right, bye bye.